We are going to take a closer look now at how our food choices can affect our mood and our mental wellness. News Force Anyang spoke to a psychiatrist about the relationship between diet and mental health, what kinds of food you may want to avoid. Health experts have long talked about the benefits of eating healthy, nutritious food to promote mental health. How big of a role does diet play in the mental health crisis in this country, which is experiencing big one right now? Psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner joins us to address the impact of food on mental health. So that is the big question. How much does diet impact mental health? It's massive. So you got to think about a few things. First is we are an incredibly unhealthy society. We have, for kids in particular, according to the CDC, 40% of kids have a chronic health condition. So these are going to be things like obesity, asthma, type 2 diabetes, and behavioral and mental health problems. This is so many more kids that are being affected than decades ago. Something is going on. We must look at our food supply. You know, it's unbelievable to me that we have thousands of of chemicals that are allowed to be in our daily food supply that our kids are eating that are outlawed in other parts of the world. Same thing goes for our meat. Believe it or not, many other countries refuse and will not allow themselves to import the meat from our country because of how we pump them full of hormones and other chemicals. So this is really troubling because we all know that what you eat is how you feel. Food is medicine. And we've learned at this point, vegetables, fruit, food in its whole form are good for you. What about the foods we should be avoiding, though, if we want to support our mental health? You've got to avoid the processed food. And unfortunately, for many people, especially kids, 70% of all the calories they take in are from processed food. Horrible, filled with chemicals. You also want to try to avoid seed oils. And in general, my feeling is that you want to try to avoid a lot of carbohydrates. These are going to cause spikes in your blood sugar. They're going to then cause inflammation. And all of this boils down to any time that you have anything that you're ingesting or anything in general with your health that's causing inflammation, that is connected to worsening mental health. So big problems. You've got to pay attention to eating, try, try to eating anti-inflammatory diets. Definitely have heard that word, inflammatory foods. And we also hear about these food sensitivities, intolerances, allergies. What have you observed in your practice on this particular issue? It's really interesting on because over the last year, I've taken a particular interest in this as I've learned more. And I've done these food sensitivity tests on a number of patients, adults and kids. There's a company called Everly Well that I typically use. And it's very simple. It's an at-home kit. And it'll test you for about 200 different food items to see how reactive you are to this. Now, I know there are some doctors out there who will poo-poo this and say there's nothing to it. All I can say is I've done this with dozens of patients, and in about a third of them, it's come back extremely helpful. They found that they were eating foods that they had no idea were causing some inflammation for them. They cut out the foods, and they noticed improvements with headaches, stomach aches, energy, sleep, general mood. It's really, really interesting. Yeah, it's tough to sometimes cut out the foods we like, but when we do and we see how much more better we feel, it can really make a difference. Absolutely. And I hope people pay a lot more attention to this because this is absolutely essential for us to feel better as a country. All right, Dr. Joshua Weiner, thanks so much for joining us with that information. Thanks, Son.